What's going on everyone? Today we're taking a ride on I-95 northbound from the airport. We're going to continue up I-95 through to I-295. Looks like we're going to start this ride along out with a little bit of traffic. Sign says road construction up ahead. So let's see what that's all about. Today we will be checking out the reconstruction of I-95, where the collapse was. We'll be taking a look at the lanes over by Cotman Avenue to see how that progress is coming along. There are three lanes open northbound and three lanes open southbound through the area of where the collapse happened. Person gonna be nice enough to let us in? Yes, they are. Now look at this. The lane clearly is closed. That lane ended and they're still flying up the shoulder. Wow. They finally got it. Now we need to go over another lane because this right lane, according to the sign, is closed. So the next chance we get, we need to get over. Looks like we may get an opportunity here. Hopefully get over into that lane. And chances are this road work area is likely on the Gerard Point Double Decker Bridge.
these people on the far right that are just now getting over actually ran out of lane and are now just finally getting over. Wow. Or did they? Nope, the lane actually merges in up here. Okay. So they were getting over early. Yeah. Got it. Looks like we have a work crew up here on the right, as advertised. Now how about that? This truck here on the left is in the far left lane. This is a three lane road. He is not supposed to be in that lane. It's a three lane road, unless a sign says otherwise. A truck is not supposed to be open. Now, he probably figures because coming into a work zone, he can get over. In that case, I believe he's okay. And here start the cones. And let's see what they're doing. Probably a bridge inspection of some sort. That'd be my guess. They have no sign that says end of road work. So if you notice, so far, no one has gotten back into the right lane. Here come some people in the right lane now. Finally, they 
realize it's the end of the road one time. Oh, did you see that car? Went from the far left lane right over to the far right lane. Weaving in and out of traffic. missing a tire? It's on the side of the road here by Broad Street on I-95. Piece of the guardrail is completely missing back there on the right. never know what you might see on the side of the roadway with all this junk and debris that gets left. And the funny thing is they, they do frequently clean it up. As fast as they clean it up, more appears. Stuff falls out of the back of trucks. Stuff falls off of vehicles. You name it, I have seen it. I've seen furniture on the side of the roads. I've seen mattresses, tires, everything. something is going on with the Walwyn Bridge. Check out that backup. That's the delay just to get on the bridge. And it continues on the bridge itself. Luckily road work. I think I saw there's road work through there today. Take a look up top. You see that? Look at that. Walwyn Bridge is hardly moving going into New Jersey. Yikes little bit of a preview of what it's going to look like later this week with the 4th of July holiday weekend coming. Oh, getting off on the other side, southbound. That's backed up as well. Another message sign turned on. Let's see what this one says. 
Probably a safety reminder would be my guess. Maybe not. All through traffic, all through truck traffic, use center lane, road open at Top and Alabama. We'll see if they actually follow through with that when we get closer. Let's stick on the back of that vehicle. That Mitsubishi. Way too fast. I hope they don't have a rider. And if they do have a rider, I hope that rider reports them for speed. That is totally unacceptable and ridiculous. We are doing 65. Look how far ahead they are. They have to be doing at least 85. Totally unacceptable. What concerns me even more is they are a rideshare driver. Right? Cool car alert. Antique car up ahead. Take a look at this. Oh, what's going on here? You have a really cool car just ahead of us. Look at this guy flying past us. Oh, he's got the top down. Look at the other side. Roving maintenance crew has set up. Looks a little congested over there. Ah, this car is really cool. Alright, we're going to pass it though. Anyone knows what year that car is. Put it in the comments down below. I would love to know. Uh, maybe we're not going to pass him. He has really sped up now. Go. I think we'll get back behind him again. this is the first time you've come to my channel to check out my ride-alongs or anything else I do on a channel such as history um, we've torn a few historical sites uh, hey feel free to give it a like and subscribe now I don't post as frequently as I would like to I would like to start getting back to posting more often hopefully I can do that down the line but from time to time I do post and share my ride-alongs. Like if I'm going somewhere, I'll just start recording. And who knows what we'll see. We already saw a traffic jam. We saw a few crazy drivers. We saw a totally unacceptable Lyft driver that was just flying past us. And guess what? We still have many more miles to go. Who knows what else we'll see. I do know we are passing this dump truck. Me and dump trucks do not get along. We've had many of cracked windshields in our time from trucks like this. another thing you saw on the channel today. A classic car. There it is. 
way up there. I don't know that we'll catch back up with it, but pretty cool to see. Alrighty, coming up on the old Harbison Avenue exit, but read what the sign says on the right. Exit closed. That's correct. There is no more Harbison Avenue exit. You have to get off at Aramingo now, and unfortunately, the next exit off is not until Cotman Avenue, or at least I believe that's where the next exit off is. We'll see. Wait. After Cotman Avenue, you should say, because Cotman does not exist right now. Reason being, we had to collapse, and with the collapse, they had to fill it in so there's no off ramp. So you might have to go all the way to Academy. Let's see. I don't think there's another exit ramp in between. It's a pretty far distance to go all the way up to Academy. Now, I mean, you're passing a very populated area. So to just have one exit, that's not good enough. Hopefully, when they finish the permanent fix, it will return to Cotton Avenue off ramp. I don't know what the plans are, how that's going to work. Other construction zone, the scheduled construction zone. This is part of the revive I 95, you know, the rebuilding I 95 to make it a better roadway and add capacity. Now, coming up pretty soon, we will be coming near Cotman Avenue, or where the exit used to be. As you can see, it is blacked out. So yes, there is no common avenue off ramp and there, there's no exit here. None at all. Your next exit is going to be Academy. So you're coming into Northeast Philadelphia. It's really uh, tough. Now this it does open back up to four lanes, but this is not going to last. It will go back to three lanes just up ahead as we go through where the collapse was, which is not very far. You can see 273 detour. That would be Coppin Avenue. Half a mile away from Coppin Avenue, where the collapse was just a few weeks ago. Here we come. Here comes the newly reconstructed temporary lanes of I-95. And the speed limit through the work zone is going to be 45 miles per hour. As of right now, there are no speeding cameras in the work zone. That could be subject to change. Though. And here it is. It's right up here. Here's the temporary lanes right now. Already, we have crossed the temporary stretch of I-95. Eventually, the full fix will be done. It's going to take a while yet, though. And like I said, your next off-ramp is going to be Academy. You can come on at Cotman northbound. You can exit southbound. You can enter southbound, but you cannot exit northbound at Cotman Avenue, which was such a busy exit, especially during Russia. So it's really bad not having that exit and being limited on options. Alrighty, we're going to pass this Hyundai. Then we will get back over. As this does go down to its uh, traditional three lanes, not too far up ahead. And I do like to stay in the center lane through that stretch, if need be.
it is. Exit 32. Academy Road, Linden Avenue. So after Aramingo Avenue, this is your only exit. You just saw how far of a distance that is. That is several miles. Probably about five miles, I want to say, in between exits because of Coppin Avenue not existing at this time. Hey, there's the classic car again. to see what the make is on that. Unfortunately, I do not know. Again, if you know what the make is or the uh, year, put it down below in the comments. Let me know. I always love to be educated about uh, classic cars, anything. I constantly love to learn new things. Let's do a pass, shall we? Check that out. Check out those old school hubcaps. That's just fantastic. Outstanding. Love seeing old cars. Alrighty, next exit is going to be Woodhaven Road. In one mile. But we're not getting off there. We still have a long ways to go. This will eventually turn into 295 once we get past the Pennsylvania Turnpike and the Pennsylvania Turnpike Connector. Which 95 does continue up the Turnpike Connector. I think another pass is in order here. We're going to pass this Hyundai. Seems like everyone is driving in a well-behaved manner now. Hopefully I don't jinx it though. And this is the Woodhaven Road exit. Exit number 35. You also have Cornwell's Heights, which is a park and ride station where you can link to the Trenton line of Septa. I don't believe Amtrak makes any stops there, but I could be wrong. Next exit will be Street Road. been in this lane long enough. We've passed enough people. Let's get back to our speed limit after all. is 55. Excuse me. Alrighty. 
Bristol, Route 413, exit 39, old exit 40. That is coming up next. It looks like we're going to pass again. Another dump truck. You know my motto, I do not like being behind dump trucks. But fortunately, we cannot pass it. Now we can. We seize the opportunity. If this person would be so kind to let us in. There is someone behind us. Coming up at a rather fast uh, speed. Finally. They have to let us in. So this construction vehicle. Well, keep alert for sudden turns. Got it. They should also have signs in the back of these dump trucks that say, watch for throwing stones. Some do. I mean, most people know to keep a safe distance, but even at that, you can still have a cracked windshield. It happens. Bristol exit number 39, old exit 40. Next, believe it or not, is a left exit. And you're probably going, wait, why a left exit? Well, 95 used to continue north. Then they built a new ramp for the connection to the turnpike connector. So 95 now continues on the turnpike connector, which would be right. And exit 40, this is the new exit 40, being left exit because it turns into I-295, so technically that is an exit off of Interstate I-95. So though it looks like you're going through, and you are, one time you did, um, 95 continues on the right, so that's why it's considered an exit, because technically you're exiting from I-95 onto I-295, which we are now officially on I-295, and we'll be on this for a few miles. I think it may be a total of 10 miles. I don't know. We'll find out. Yet again, I think we can do another pass. Shredded up on the side of the left side of the road. Oh. Alright, you're not supposed to be passing on the right. This guy was directly behind me. Then weaved over, got to the right of me at a high rate of speed. Right as you saw that. I was going to get into that lane. And that guy just flew up past us on the right. Wow. Unbelievable. I knew we'd see another knucklehead before this day was done and guess what we're not at our we're not done yet still got a few miles to go on this all right coming up on business route one levittown really good place to stop if you have to get off of this exit there is a place called Curly's. It's a cheese. It's a place that has cheesesteaks. They have other stuff. Well known for their cheesesteaks. Highly recommended them. I just tried them out for the first time just about a week ago. Not even a week ago. Outstanding. Outstanding cheesesteak. Oh, look at all these people from New Jersey flying past us. That's two Jersey vehicles. This one's not Jersey. This one's Pennsylvania. 
Mind you, we are doing 65, and they are coming past us that fast. Unreal. There it is, exit three. Remember, it's exit three because we are now on I-295. Formerly I-95. And there's old Lincoln Highway. Business Route 1. Here is Route 1 itself, northbound to Trenton. There on the right, that's 5A. And then south will take you to Line 1, which is exit 5B. Gotta come a little faster when you're on the highway, buddy. So we were up to about close to 75. He was maybe doing 40 something. Then he decides to get into the left lane. Okay. Like that makes any sense. Next exit is exit 8 for Newtown and Yardley. However, this is not the exit we are getting off at. We're getting off at the last exit in Pennsylvania. Coming up on another dump truck, but this go around, I think we'll maintain in this lane. And we will keep a safe following distance. Washington's Crossing National Cemetery is at this exit. That is a place that is worth seeing as well. And I think we are going to pass this. Yes. There's more than enough time before we get off. Got this sign. The electric sign. It's got scribble on it. They're all jumbled, I should say. Whoa, look what that uh, hearse just did. Just got in between that truck and the ball, ball. And now he's getting off. Wow. Unbelievable. relatively concerning to me. That's actually really concerning to me. That person was dressed in a suit and tie. Are they transporting someone with that act that they just did? Oh dear. 
And I'll let you in on a tidbit. I'm actually headed to a, fu a funeral mass. I hope that's not the person I'm... Oh, oh dear. That uh, I'm going to a funeral for. And they're being transported in that. Oh, my. So this is actually a newly widened section of I-295. This used to be back when it was 95. It was just two lanes each way. But this did get widened because between this area and Trenton and also Princeton area, there is a significant commute at rush hour. So it required an upgrade to three lanes in each direction. All right, we will be getting it off at the New Hope exit up here. It can take you to New Hope. It can also take you to Yardley. We'll be going right. And after we get off, that's where we'll leave you off. I'd like to thank everyone for riding along with me. Like I said, we will try and do more of these more frequent. I mean, maybe even if it's just on local roadways. Well, why does that have to be a highway? We will do some of these. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoy seeing content like this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see you all again next time. Share this with your friends. If you know someone who finds uh, seeing roadways bad drivers, any of that sort of stuff interesting. Share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all again next time. Have a great day, everyone.